Thank you for purchasing the N96 automated extractor. Before we begin the session, please make sure to wear your gloves to avoid contamination. At position number 8, is the elution plate. At positions 4, 5, 6 comes the wash buffers. The most important one at position 2 is the lysis buffer. Finally, at position 1 is the magnetic rod. Please make sure when you receive the box, that all the wells are included. Before the extraction, slowly remove the aluminum cover from the wells. When placing the wells, make sure the number positioning is the same as the extraction machine. Position 1 well, goes to the position 1 in the machine. Click on the rotation button to bring the position 1 in the center. Please make sure that it is always at position 1 when starting the extractor. The same applies to the wash buffers. Make sure the left corner the A matches the A in the extractor. The elution plate, at position 8, it is important because this is where the samples are placed at the end. Before using the magnetic beads, as you can observe here, the magnetic beads are sedimented below, to avoid that, it is important to place the magnetic beads in a vortex before use, please pay attention to this step. In the lysis buffer well, we will now pipette 10 milliliters of the magnetic beads in each well. Then, let us pretend this solution is the specimen. We will pipette with 250 milliliters in each well, without mixing, as the mixing will be automated in the N96 extractor. After completing the pipetting, bring the lysis buffer, which is position 2, and place it the in the extractor machine. Please note, that position 2 differs from position 8, in which position 2 has the option for heat in cases when you need to use blood, and it needs enzymatic digestion which requires 140 Fahrenheit. Also, when using the option to increase DNA illusion efficiency, this can be set up manually. Please click on Manage Program, then click on Settings, then Import and Export. Click on Import. Select the file, the green arrow must appear, then click on Import. Then click back, then click again on manage program, you can see the program appeared below. Then go to run program, and it is installed. You will receive the extractor with our software already installed for the run. Once you click on run, sit down and relax while the extractor does its job. As you can observe here it is beginning to mix the sample and after the mixing, the magnetic beads will be attached to the plastic and transferred from plate to plate. Here all cells are lysed, also the RNA and DNA are part of the magnetic beads, because of the acidic surface and then it is transferred to the free washing plates, it is ethanol, to help get rid of proteins, salts, and other residues.
the nucleic acids are always bound to the magnetic beads until the very last step. We're in position 8, in the elution buffer, it is again mixed and the RNA and DNA are released into the buffer. Then the beads are recaptured, put in the first plate again. Then you have your N96 plate ready for use in 15 to 22 minutes. After the automated extraction is finished, then please proceed with the RT-PCR testing using our Phoenix Kit SARS-CoV-2 multiplex. Please refer to the instructions for use to follow the steps to prepare the test run using the molecular analyzer. Thank you for choosing Trax Management Services and the Phoenix as an end-to-end -end solution. And I hope you found this video instructive. A big thanks for Dr. Sven, Dr. Rakan, and Dr. Michael for making this video happen. Good luck fighting the spread of the COVID-19. Also, please note, there are two types of the Spheromag boxes, they are the same. The only difference is that there is a pre-filled version and a non-pre-filled version. The pink one is the non-pre-filled, you must follow the instructions for use on how to fill it. We have used the pre-filled version which comes in the color blue with this session.